The game loads to a screen that makes you choose between a poorly drawn Union Jack and a poorly drawn Spanish flag. I think that's Spain. Looks Spain to me. I could click it and find out what language it is. This is straight up like 2002 Flash right here. I mean, this is ridiculously old school Flash. This is Famous Paintings Parodies on Newgrounds.com by Munguia. Mungia. I don't know. We're going to go in English. Famous Paintings Parodies. ABC Test by Munguia. Oh, it's a G here and it's a Q here. Huh, interesting. I don't know what this is. Okay, that opens up a whole new window. Forget that. This is... How much do you know about art? Famous Paintings Parodies is a collection of amazing art spoofs created by Mungia. Now there it's a G again. Mungia based on classical pieces by Da Vinci, Goya, Picasso, Rembrandt, Van Gogh. Can you recognize the origin from the cartoonish? Can you recognize the origin from the cartoonish version of masterpieces of all time on this funny trivia? Choose between three options, the right answer, and prove how much do you know about Famous Paintings. It's not... The most common way one would say this, but I believe that technically every one of these sentences is correct. Choose between three options, the right answer. It doesn't sound correct, but it is a correct... So choose, the object's just coming at the end, choose the right answer from between three options. So I can't really fault them. All right, let's play. So this is The Odd Couple by Gnarls Barkley. Arnolfini Marriage by Van Eyck, or American Gothic by Grant Wood. Well, this is Batman and Robin. And this is... What is this? Oh, it'll actually just show you the famous painting? That's kind of a cheat. Well, it's American Gothic. Yay, Metal Get! Batman and Robin. This is The Scream by Edward Munch. Abstraction 51 by Jackson Pollock and Guernica by Picasso. No, so this is what the real one looks like. That is not as close as the last one. But once again, the answer is C. Spermatozoid Scream. Uh, this is a blind LP. I have not played this game yet, as is pretty evident from the fact that I keep... Why are you flipping me off, Mona Lisa? Um, by the fact that I keep getting medals. So here, it's not the trick of which painting is it, it's the trick of who painted it. Is it Michael Angelo? Not Michelangelo, but Michael Angelo. Leonardo DiCaprio or Raphael? There's the original one, by the way. Just in case you didn't believe me, she's not normally flipping people off. And this is a Leonardo da Vinci work. The Bad Sign. Dun 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 dun. This is... The Kiss by Gustav Klimt. Yeah. It's... I don't... This doesn't look like a Van Eyck to me. I mean, it's... It could be the marriage. Arnolfini marriage. But I'm pretty sure it's not. It's certainly not Romeo and Juliet by Shakespeare. So I'm gonna say The Kiss by Gustav Klimt. And I'm right. We got a hickey. That's actually a pretty good parody. I like that one. Wow. Girl with the Earring by Vermeer. Madame Monet by Monet. Or Royale by Lord. Yeah, this is Girl with the Earring. I mean, I could have told you that, but... I should have told you that before I clicked it, but... Yes. Chick with Piercing. Sweet. Oh, if I knew the names of the medals, that would be easier. This is the self-portrait of Van Gogh. And you can see... dun da 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 This is, I believe, before he cut off his ear, because the one where he cut off his ear, he's got bandages wrapped around his head. So, Van Gogh. Mango. <laughs> I get it, it's a mango. This is... Uh, I'm not looking. My eyes are closed. I don't want to see what's at the bottom of the screen. Um, Aphrodite. Oh, duh. It's not Aphrodite. It's The Birth of Venus by Botticelli. Like a virgin. And once again, the girl with the earring. Because she has an earring right there. dun da da, -da. Birth of Venus. Well, that was close. Pre-birth of Venus. Uh, oh, because she's pregnant. That is a cow eating a sandwich. And what a sandwich. Monster by Lady Gaga. Lady Gaga. Lady Gaga. Saturn Devouring His Children by Goya. Or Meninas by Velasquez. Well, this is Saturn Devouring His Children. There you go. It's possibly Meninas, but it should be Saturn Devouring His Children. 
Yes, mad cow. I like it. It's because he's eating burgers. Oh my gosh, what is this? It's not a cat face. Sketch by Mr. Bean. No. Son of Man by Magritte or Persistence of Memory by Dolly. I believe this is Son of Man by Magritte. Yeah. Once I see the dude with the pear on his face. Or apple. That's an apple. But. Dunk. Ball of yarn. Oh, it's a cat with a ball of yarn. That's not just like the icky guts inside the cat's face. This is Arnolfini Marriage by Van Eyck. Um... Golconde. I don't know what that painting looks like. And Baby by Justin Bieber. No. There we go. This is from the time when apparently every tiny little thing in a painting was a symbol of something else. And I do believe that if you... I can't remember exactly what it is, but if you look at the real version of this painting, that mirror right in the center in the background reveals the painter himself, if I remember correctly. You can see the painter painting the scene in the mirror. Oh, and there you can kind of see it there, too. Munguia started the parodies of famous painting series in 2008 and to date have been painted over 150 canvas. Okay, that's not a real sentence. This game contains 30 of them. Oh, there's still more to go. Alright, this is a bunch of dudes gathered around a box of flowers. So I'm going to say this is Anatomy Class by Rembrandt. Yep. Tulip classes. This button makes the game way too easy. Alright, this is a group of people in a room. And I'm going to say that this is Henri Mate Matisse. Let's look at the button. Oh no, that's a Van Gogh. I was wrong. I suck. Alright, what's next on the list here? Ah, this is Salvador Dali, without a qu uh, question, persistence of memory. My dad actually had a copy of this uh, hanging somewhere. Oh, no, actually, I take it back. It wasn't a painting hanging up. It was in a book, but he had a book with the picture of it in there. Because I remember seeing that picture very early in my life as a kid. This is obviously The Last Supper by Leonardo da Vinci, except... Let's see, we've got Mucha Lucha... And this is He-Man, Green Lantern, Flash, Wonder Woman, Batman, Aquaman, Wolverine, Spider-Man, uh, Lion-O, Superman. Who is that guy in the middle? Supposed to be? Is that Mangia himself? Maybe. And I don't know who this guy is with the CH and the heart and everything. But there is Leonardo da Vinci's Last Supper, and it looks like it has been crammed in. Because normally the resolution of that, the resolution, the uh, the dimensions is longer than that. The dimensions is longer, yes. This is Michelangelo, Creation of Man. Here they've got a dude with E.T., Marvin the Martian, um, Gazoo, some other dudes that I don't quite know. They might just be random thingies. Uh, there's Kang or Kodos. Well, King and Kodos, apparently, although one of them is orange now. So there you go. Creation of Man by Michelangelo. This is a bunch of royal people standing around in a room. Um, not quite sure. I think those are just paintings of other people in the background. So is this Meninas by Diego Velasquez? Young Ladies of Avignon by Picasso? Or Birth of... Well, it's not Birth of Venus by Botticelli. Um, based on the piebald kind of cats right here and right here, I'm going to say Young Ladies of Avignon by Picasso. Oop. That is not a Picasso, but it is young... Is that a Picasso? That does look like Young Ladies of Avignon. Uh, maybe this is before Picasso went insane. There's also a video, which we're not going to watch. Oh, my first wrong answer. Go back. Go back. This is Whistler's mother. This isn't even a question. She's on the pot. She's got a roll of toilet paper. I like it. Doing. So I missed one single question so far out of 16. 
This is a seal and a bunch of other seals and a bunch of Russians is what it looks like, or Canadian Russians. So is this executions of the 3rd of May by Goya? I'm going to say yes. It looks like this is a uh, line of uh, guys in kind of Napoleonic era, kind of redcoat-ish era uh, outfits, and then you've got a, peop a set of people lined up getting shot to death. It's certainly not Lord of the Rings by Tolkien, and I don't think Van Gogh painted the Civil War. So yeah, there you go. Executions of the 3rd of May. And it is Russians. Ding. Mater Foca. Madre Seal. Okay. The way that it's painted right now looks very much like a Picasso. Um, ooh. The Moulin Rouge by Toulouse-Lautrec. Is that what we got here? Nope. This is Picasso's la Young Ladies of Avignon. Okay, so I, I missed that the, first, the Young Boys of Avignon. This is Starry Night by Van Gogh. This is a very, very famous painting. I enjoy it. So we're going to go ahead and click One Night in Bangkok by Murray Head. One Night in Bangkok. I like that song. The famous paintings parody series has been exhibited in the halls of Costa Rica and have been part of art exhibitions. Colon, for some reason. Spain, Argentina, Brazil, Turkey, Italia. To be continued later. Okay, here we have two cow-like demon angel thingies. Uh, we got Earth Angel by New Edition. Garden of Early Delights. That should be Earthly Delights, if I remember correctly, by The Bosch. And Angels by Rafael Sanzio. Well, only one of those makes sense. I'm going to go with Angels by Rafael Sanzio. Yep. So that is one where I totally didn't know before I looked at it. Uh, this is a bunch of people farming, except they're playing hopscotch. So, I'm going to say it's The Gleaners by Millet. And we have... Yeah. Alright, so now that we've gone through this, they're reusing names in the bottom too often. And it's making it ridiculously easy to figure out between the joke names and the reused names for things that we've already answered. Okay, this looks like a bearded woman. <laughs> like, this looks like a man's head, but it looks like a woman's body. And then you have this fish-faced looking woman. And then this lady who looks kind of like Julia Child. And then you got this dude with the awesome mustache. So, is this Luncheon on the Grass by Monet? Last Supper? It's not Last Supper. Um, it could be Lunch with Rowers by Renoir. So does this look like a Monet or a Renoir? This looks like a... Man, that's not fair because... But I'm going to say it's lunch with rowers because they've got the rowers hats on. Yay! Monet and Renoir both have the kind of... I think it's called impressionists. Where they put little daubs of paint and it, it makes the impression of things. But I think Manoir, uh, Monet was a little bit... Okay, this is Luncheon on the Grass by Monet because I recognize these two dudes right here. This is exactly what they look like in the real painting. See? Ding! You thought I was kidding, right? Look at how exactly like that they look. It's ridiculous. So yeah. <laughs> Sunday morning by no doubt. What? Wait a minute. I want to go back. I really, really want to go back and see what the other choice was. I didn't even read what the middle choice was, but I recognized that photo so well. This is not the Mona Lisa. It's not Mona Lisa. That's all I can tell you. So is this Mirror Venus or Naked Maja by Goya? I'm going to say Mi Naked Maja by Goya. Yep. The Naked Majo, because he's a guy now. Oh, man, I don't recognize this at all. It's not Girls Only, want, only Have Fun, because that's actually called Girls Just Want to Have Fun. It could be Two Girls by Diego Rivera, or it could be Woman Running on the Beach, but there's more than one, so it's not going to be Woman Running on the Beach. It's going to be Two Girls. It's not? Am I clicking wrong? Am I just dumb? Well, this is Mirror Venus, because this time she has a mirror. Piggies. Oh, that's right. There you go. Uh, this is The Swing, because it has a swing in it. Um, if you've watched Frozen, 
you saw this picture because it's in the movie Frozen. Ding. Fragonard. Never heard of Fragonard before. Uh, this is a, an ukiyo-e painting. I think that, I don't know if ukiyo-e is actually the genre this is from, but it's a wood carving. And obviously it's from Hakusai. Hokusai. Shipwreck of the Medusa by Delacroix. No. Big Wave by Hokusai. Tsunami. Fear my tsunami. Cross the line, do not cross. We're going to have a bunch of fruit. This is a still life. But is it Apples by Steve Jobs? No. No title by Henri Matisse? Or is it Still Life by Cezanne? I want to say... Still Life by Cezanne has flowers in it. But I don't know for sure. I'm going to say it's Henri Matisse. I'm going to get it wrong. Yep, it's Still Life. Half score. Art lover. All right, so if you get half of them right, I think you get half score. I mean, that's self-explanatory. And I guess if you get 75% right, you get Art Connoisseur. And now, can I go back and re-answer the ones I got wrong? Oh, man, I don't want to go back through the whole thing. American Gothic. Because this is just this is going to take a while. Come on. Switch to the next one. This is the screen. Come on. Let's see how fast this goes. Let's do it. Let's push through. Leonardo by Leonardo by Mona Lisa DiCaprio. This is The Kiss by Gustav Klimt. Any day you want to hurry, girl, with the earring by Vermeer. Vermeer. And another thing, um, this is Van Gogh self-portrait. The fact that they have an, uh, a custom mouse means that everything moves a little bit slower. Birth of Venus by Botticelli. Come on. I know you can do it. This is Saturn Devouring His Children by Goya. Rawr. This is Son of Man by Magritte. Or Magritte. I don't know. Because I don't speak French. Maybe it's not French, but who knows. Arnolfini Marriage by Van Eyck. Because the Dutch know how to paint them some paintings. And click. This is The Anatomy Class by Rembrandt. Very fun. Cut the dude open. You pilgrim looking dudes. This is uh, Van Gogh room. Yeah, Van Gogh. Hey, that's right. I can get the ones that I got before wrong because I already got the uh, achievements for them. This is Persistence of Memory by Dolly. The Melting Clock picture, as is often called. This is Last Supper by Leonardo DiCaprio. I don't think I'm ever going to say anything other than Leonardo DiCaprio. Creation of Man by Michelangelo. I watched uh, The Wolf of Wall Street. It was an okay movie. Uh, it wasn't super awesome. This was Meninas by Diego Velasquez. I got the kittens. Cute little kitties all over. Uh, Whistler's Mother. I don't know why it's always called Whistler's Mother. Apparently here it's Mother of Whistler. I don't know if that's a translation error or if it's actually called Mother of Whistler and everybody just calls it Whistler's Mother. Uh, this is The Young Ladies of Avignon by Picasso. And I have affected a little bit of a French accent. Starry Night by Van Gogh. I do not know why I talk like this. I think it is because my nose is a little stuffed up. And so I can do the little nasally voice. Angels by Raphael Sanzio. Aren't those the people that make Hello Kitty? This is The Gleaners by Millet. Or Millet. I don't know. Are you French or not? This is The Lunch with Rowers by Renoir. Okay, so here we're getting to the one I got wrong. So, Sunday Afternoon by Surat. Okay. I didn't even look at it because it wasn't a capital letter, and so it doesn't register to me that it's a real choice. This is Naked Majo. Come on. We're almost done. Okay, so this would have to be... It's not Two Girls by Diego Rivera. It's Woman Running on the Beach by Picasso. I can kind of see that being a Picasso. I just don't like the name woman running on the beach when there are obviously two women this one is mirror venus by velasquez piggies this one is the swing by fragonard very famous painting la 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 and big wave by hokusai and un mas and this one is still life by cezanne 
Crime scene. All right. So we get Mega Mind if we get 100%. Look at your brain. Look at that brain. Do you see that brain? Oh my. This has been Famous Paintings Parodies ABC Test by Mungia. And until next time, bye bye.